welcome to State's Place. Today I am going to do a haul. I have been going to the Goodwill outlet. I went yesterday and I went today, only for a couple hours at a time, and I was trying to be a little bit more selective and only get things that were gonna net me about $20 or more, just to see if I could. I don't necessarily think that's the right way to do things, but I wanted to see how I could do with that. Um, and I did really good. So yesterday I went by myself. I stayed there for about three hours and I spent $33. And then today I went with Tony and I, we only spent about an hour and a half there, very quick time. And we spent $38. So together that's $71. And this is our stuff from both trips combined, just to make it a little bit easier. Um, I think that $38 is going, or sorry, $71, let's get that right, is going to net me about $2,738. I just added everything up and it's all really good stuff. Um, and let me show you what I got. So I can't really show you all of these things that I got. I got a huge pile of Nerf gun stuff. Like it literally takes up an entire tub, like a big, huge tub. There is just a ton of it. There's pieces, and I think this is a, this is one of the big guns. And then I got this bolt. This is probably the biggest. Oh, it's heavy. This guy, and it has its stand and everything on it. And then I have part of its bullet case thing. I don't have the little shell thing, but I have so much stuff here, you guys. It's probably about 30 pieces in all, all different guns, all different. I don't know what this is, this thing, like all different things. I even have clips. I mean, so much stuff. We were kind of just pulling it out of everywhere today. No guns. I don't know, I'll probably do some of it as a lot, some of it individual, um, but I'm guessing after, like, what is this? There's so much stuff. I'm guessing after everything, we should be able to net about um, $250 on all of it. And that's a low estimate. I'm really not sure what I all I have here. If you go over to my group, State's Place, I put a picture up and I asked for help because I've never sold Nerf guns before. I'm gonna test them all out, of course, to make sure that they're all working. Um, and I can always piece them out if they're not. We'll see. We'll see how it goes, right? Um, I also got this Kelty bag. So I love Kelty stuff. Here's the label. Kelty stuff is really expensive and their Kelty kids stuff, they make hiking backpack carriers for your kids and they sell used for $100. I mean, the good ones. So I know their stuff is nice and I was like, oh, duffel, I'll grab that duffel. Well, I opened the duffel and to my surprise, there is all the stuff in here. There is a backpack that will attach to one of the, the carriers. So that's super nice. There's stirrups for the carriers for the kids to put their feet in. There is a changing pad with a little pocket. And there is also a, sh a hood. So this is like a shield for, so yeah, all of this great stuff. I think that I will price this. There wasn't, I can't find a comparable one on eBay. I'm sure there's one out there. I didn't look too hard. Um, but I think I'll price this entire kit for about $75. And if this sells, I will pay for my entire two trips to Goodwill Outlet. And I think this will sell, especially with the season coming up. So yeah, that was super excited. And it's not heavy at all. Like I can fit this into probably a medium or large flat rate box to ship it. So that's super exciting. This is just a really good find, I think. People are going to love this. So yeah, really excited. Be on the lookout for this Kelty Kid stuff. Or any Kelty stuff, really. It's great. Um, I got this Timbuktu wallet. It's in really good shape. There it is. It should sell for about $30. They make messenger bags too. If you guys ever see those, pick them up. They're really good. Okay, maybe you guys can help me. I'm always asking for your help, but this is a little sport sack. It's a little coin purse thing. It's got two little rainbow zippers. Here is the back stuff. It looks like Hello Kitty, right? Like there's Choco Cat. I don't know if maybe it's fake because this Hello Kitty on the front looks super awkward, but here's like the little, it'll stop moving, the little logos and it says the sport sack on the other side. But either way, if you guys can help me identify this pattern, I can't find it anywhere. 
I know that this stuff will go for a lot of money if it's the pattern is correct. So I put down that I was going to sell it for 40, but we'll see. I don't know. That could be way off. You guys it's a little wristlet. Um, I need to identify the pattern. So if you guys can help me, if you guys know what pattern this is, let me know in the comments below, please. I would really appreciate your help. I don't know what it is. Okay, um, pants. I got three pair of pants. I didn't get anything that was that interesting, so I'm not gonna show you any brands, but I got three pair. They should sell for $55 a piece. Um, this brand is actually a answer brand, so I'll show you. There we go, Anthropology, Daughters of Liberation. Their shirts are selling really well, but their pants are only going for about 20. So that's fine though. 20 bucks is 20 bucks, guys. Um, I got some plus size stuff. You guys know I love buying plus size. So here's plus size. I got four pieces for $65. Again, nothing too interesting, but um, I don't really care about brands and stuff when it comes to plus size clothing. These are all three X's and up. And these things will sell within days of me listing them. So that's great. And then men's, I got four men's items for $85 is what I think that they'll sell for. Um, a Nike jacket, a Nike polo. This, I looked this brand up. It looks like a pretty good brand. It is, there we go. Frank and Oak. I'm going to sell this little men's shirt for $20. And then I got this cool, groovy Hawaiian shirt. There we go. Super, super fun, bright colors. It's got a union tag in it. I think it will sell really well, but we'll see. So it looks like it's for Reef Towers Hawaiian Village Outrigger Hotel Honolulu. So we'll see, I'll have to look this up. I put it down, I think for, um, I want to say 30, but I'm going to look it up now because I didn't realize that it was from a hotel. We'll see how that goes. It's probably still 30 bucks though. I love $30 so much. That's a great price for me. Um, what's next? Oh, you guys, check this out. This one was really exciting. If you don't, so today in my group, um, somebody posted, be on the lookout for smart wool stuff. And I started laughing because I was like, no way. I was going to make this video and tell you guys all about smart wool because I found my first piece of smart wool. There it is. Smart wool. That's the logo guys. Make sure you're looking for it. It's super good, super expensive and super well made. This is so soft. This is a men's crew neck sweater. I am going to put it up for $58. And I think it will sell for just that. It's got a couple, um, you know, it's got some peeling, but I'll take my little sweater shaver and I'll clean it all up. And it's got this really tight knit. It's so soft. I really want to just wear this, but see, this is a little logo on it. There we go. That little guy. So yeah, I'm going to sell it for 58 bucks. And I think this is again, another good sell. It just sold a couple days ago. Same exact one for 58. So I'm going to price it accordingly. What else do we have? Pajamas! You guys know I love pajamas. Uh, I have a new brand to show you. Um, standard Nick and Nora pajamas, $45 because they are extra, extra large, right? And you guys know if you have the bigger, the better. And I know they're Christmas. I don't care if they don't sell until next Christmas. That doesn't matter to me. I am selling these for $45 because they will sell for $45. They are in really good shape. And then I got... This is the new brand, guys. Here they are. Adorable leopard pajamas. Super cute. Fleece pajamas. Here's the brand. PJ Salvage. Hopefully you guys are that zooming in okay. So, PJ Salvage. That's the brand. They sell this at places like Nordstrom's. It's They are super expensive. They were $90 brand new. I am going to sell them for $40. So, that's $85 for both pair of pajamas. And... These are super soft and super nice, and somebody is going to buy these for $40. I don't think it'll be a problem at all to sell them. So that's exciting. I got a couple plushes. You guys know I love the plush. Um, I got four plushes. Look at this cool Lion King. I, when I got home, I figured out that this Lion King is also... Uh, uh, what am I saying? Gosh, you guys. He's actually missing um, Simba. So this is Mufasa. There we go. And he's supposed to have a baby Simba that goes in his mouth. There's some Velcro in here, but he didn't have him. But that's okay because I can still sell him for about $20. If he had Simba, I think I could sell him for about 40 
Oh well, here's this tag. Let me see if I can show you. Look at these old Disney tags, they're so cool. Like official Lion King product. Anyway, how fun is he? He's made really well. I think um, stuffed animals of the past were made a lot better. He's just super fluffy. So yeah, 20 bucks. That's awesome. Um, a couple more. I got this little dragon guy. He's really old and he still has this tag on him. I'm gonna sell him for 22. Look how little he is. He'll fit right into a poly miller. Wrap him with some tissue and off he goes. And I got a, oh, drape insert. So pottery barn stuff is pretty expensive. Um, I picked these up because they, they're so light. These probably cost me 10 cents. And they're just drape inserts. And I know that they'll sell. Somebody is looking for them. I'm going to sell them for 10 bucks. Flip on a poly miller again and they'll be super cheap to ship. And I like $10. I know I said I was trying for 20 or more, but whatever. 10 bucks is my jam too. And then I got this hat. I don't usually buy hats, you guys. Um, I don't know much about hats. I know that some of them are worth some money. And that is about it. This hat has some dust on it. But here it is. It's like a little cabby type of hat. And I believe when I look this brand up, here it is. A lot of these hats were made for like police officers or taxi drivers or all kinds of different things. Um, I've got to do a little bit more research on this hat, but I think I can sell it for about $50. And then the challenge is going to be how to ship it. I think it's going to have to go in a flat rate box because obviously you want to keep the shape of it. And it's going to be a little bit more challenging than my normal throw it in a poly miller. I'm not going to throw this in a poly miller. I promise you guys. So yeah, this is a Lancaster brand hat. Come on, give me some light. There we go. So yeah, hopefully this sells for 50 bucks. We'll see. I don't sell hats. So I would love to branch into hats. I know a lot of people are selling snapbacks and stuff. And what else? So much stuff, you guys. I got a bunch of kid stuff. And it's hiding here somewhere. There. So I got a ton of kid stuff. Put on this blanket. There we go. And a ton of kid stuff. Uh, lots of Hannah Anderson and Janie and Jack and, you know, um, stuff that's really going to sell well. And I think all of the kids stuff will end up selling for, there's 15 pieces for $250. Well, that's great. Look at this, Tony found this today. It's a little tiny vintage romper. And these are super popular right now. I follow a lot of like, this seems to be unbuckled, but I follow a lot of the handmade kids clothing and these rompers are really popular. And look at somebody hand embroidered Bambi onto the front of it. I'm gonna put it up for $40. And I wouldn't be surprised if I got that much. I might even put it up on some of the handmade groups and see if it sells there. But it's so beautiful. I had to hide it before my daughter wants it for her Barbies or her dolls. I got this Harlem Globetrotters jersey, which is super fun. I think it will sell for about $35 to $40. I was looking them up and some of them are, they do pretty well. So I'm excited about that. Um, the Harlem Globetrotters are kind of like a joke basketball team I believe I saw them once um but anyway I think this will sell It'll be super fun some little kid will want to wear it for when he goes and sees them and yeah just a lot more pajamas um if you guys remember I'll show you these again if you remember me telling you about the Hannah Anderson long doms here's another pair that I'll put up for 20 bucks super cute remember this remember this brand guys when you're outsourcing Hannah Anderson and it's European sizing so remember that you'll have to convert it no big deal super cute organic pajamas yeah so that's about it lots of good kid stuff in here and then I got swimsuits you guys it's time to sell swimsuits I've been selling swimsuits the last couple days so swimsuits whole bucket of swimsuits. I took, I didn't steal this. I took Mel to the post office today and then when I came back we stopped at the bins and so I threw them in there. But I don't use these for anything but post office business, you guys, I promise. I know, karma. Anyway, I got a lot of swimsuits. Um, there is nine swimsuits in total that should sell for about $180. And then I also got three swimsuit bras from Victoria's Secrets. So like these guys, 
which are really nice, these swim tops. I mean, because they actually, when you're a woman, you understand that you sometimes you need a little bit of underwire and a little bit of padding. So these all sell each of them for $20, and I that is super exciting. And then I got just a ton. I think they're most of these are Victoria's Secret um, swimsuits, which will sell between $20 and $30. And right now is the time. People are going on vacation, and they are getting ready for summer, and they want to buy that swimsuit. And... So yeah, I gotta get these out probably tomorrow. And now, you guys have been talking about bras a lot. Um, and we'll get to that because I almost brought these. Look at it. I bought a pair of underwear at the bins. Gross, right? No, they're new with the tag. See, new with tags. Underwear, totally gonna sell them on eBay. Don't care because they're new with tags. No one's ever worn these bad boys. They're Selma Intimates, which I have talked to you guys about a few times. I sell a lot of their clothing and pajamas, but here is the tag. And I'm gonna sell these pajamas that probably cost me five cents because they weigh nothing for $10 on eBay. Awesome. Bras, okay bras, guys, bras. 17 bras, $400. I've been selling those bras I showed you in my last haul video like hotcakes. Um, I put them up the next day and I sold five of them immediately um, for $90. Crazy, crazy. That paid for my entire trip. So any extra money I make on top of that is just great money. So yeah, I bought um, how many? 17 bras. There's a lot here, guys. I don't even know if I can hold them all up. 17 of them. Hello, can you see me through here? 17 bras. And I would guess this is about five pounds, so let's say five dollars. I'm gonna turn that five dollars into four hundred dollars. It's gonna be awesome. There's a ton of Victoria's Secrets in here, but there's also brands like Vanity Fair and what is this? What are these all my Victorias? They are. I know you guys keep asking me for brands, but I just buy whatever I find at the Goodwill outlet that looks nice um, because everyone has like their favorite bra, and sometimes it might be like a cheaper bra. Anyway. It's like an Olga brand, which I believe is a nicer brand. Bras sell really well. This is a 38D. It's super soft. I bet I can get $25 out of this bra. So yeah, I might just throw these all through the wash together in one big load. And then I will get them up immediately because I've been doing so well. This is by Walcott. A $20 bra. Yeah, I love bras all of a sudden. Thank you, Jason T. Smith from Thrifty Business with JNA. Thank you. You taught me about bras, so don't give me credit for this, you guys. It's all them. But anyway, you're making that's making me a ton of money. I love bras, 17 bras, $400. It's awesome. Next up, I have some dresses. I got five dresses over here. Ta-da! Five dresses, $140. This is probably the best one I have. Um, Ann Taylor. And it's new with tags. There's the logo. And I wanted $14.99 for this at Goodwill. Here's the tag, still on there. I probably paid a dollar for it, and I think I'm gonna sell it for $40. It's a great little business dress. Great little sheath dress. This is gonna sell really well. Um, a couple of BCBGs, nothing too crazy, and then this vintage number. Look how fun this little polyester number is. Somebody again is gonna love this. It's made in Italy. I don't know. I keep I'm looking for this brand. I was trying to look it up. I couldn't find it anywhere. Do you guys recognize this? Anybody recognize this tag? It says T R I C O T Simon Tricot Simon. And it's a size 42. I should do really well. Made in France. Polyester. This is, I want, I'm very curious to know what this is going to be like. It's a beautiful, fun print. Totally vintage. Um, I think I put that I wanted to get $40 out of it. I think that's a realistic amount. I'm trying to be realistic. But we'll see. Okay, my biggest, my big find. I, um, this coat it was heavy so it took me a second to decide if i wanted it or not so this is a coat 
and it's actually from Target, you guys. Don't pass up all Target stuff. So a lot of the designer collaborations with Target, um, they do really well. I once sold a purse I got from the bins. It was a designer collaboration with Target for $150, which is amazing. So don't pass up everything that you see that is just Target. Make sure if it's like a designer collaboration that you at least look at it. Some of it's garbage. I mean, I bought a skirt that I thought was going to be a good one. It was a Target designer collaboration and it's maybe $10 if I'm lucky. So we'll see. Anyway, this one, Adam. And you guys, this is marked out. Usually I don't even bother with the markings. Um, a lot of the time, you know, we'll have the X's and stuff. I might try and clean this one up because it is new with tags and I'd like to be able to sell it that way. But I don't generally take any, I don't bother with that. Anyway, um, this jacket is actually selling really well on eBay. I am going to put it up for $75 and I expect to sell it for $75. So you just never know. Make sure you're checking those designer collaborations and seeing if they're selling for anything. Okay, and then I got some women's items, some women's clothing items. Oh, actually, there is something really good in here. Sorry, guys, it's so far away. There's so many piles. So I got um, 11 pieces. I uh, should sell for about $180. Here they are. There's a couple anthro pieces in here, some Chico's. So, oh, a Tommy Bahama dress. Ta -da. Super cute. This will totally sell for... Summer. I've been trying to buy summer things too. Seasons are changing. Here we go, Tommy Bahama. I hope you guys are already familiar with this brand because it's a great brand. Here's the big winner. $70 is what I'm hoping to sell this for. Cashmere, 100% cashmere waffle knit Vince sweater. Vince, I've talked about this brand before. It's super popular, super hot. It is selling for a lot of money. New, I think these sell for like two to $300. And one just sold for, um, just like this, sold for about 50 and then another one sold for 80 So I'm going to put mine at 75 and I think it will sell. I do need to wash it. There's a couple little spots, but we can get those out and get $75. Again, that will pay for my entire two-day trips to the bins, which is awesome. It makes me so happy. So, yeah, I will get these up. Um, 11 items, $180. And then athletic wear which has just been killing it for me lately. Athletic wear, people are getting in shape. It is January. Um, I found 23 pieces of athletic wear and I am estimating to get about $475. So um, I'm, I, I've been going all day, you guys. My eyes are tired. Um, so yeah, $475, which is great. So let me show you. I got 17 Nike items. You guys know how I feel about Nike items. They sell. A couple of them are sports bras, um, but I put them in here anyway. So that's great. I got this Victoria's Secret sports bra, which should do really well. Victoria's Secret sports bra. I think this one is going to sell for between 30 to 40 People love these sports bras. I kind of love the sports bra. It seems super nice. And then my big winners in this category are two pair of Lululemon gym pants. There was a few people in the groups this week um, in eBay thrifters, which I'm still an admin for, and I still hope you guys are joining that group and Stage Place. They were like, oh, I've never heard of that brand before. What's that? You need to know what Lululemon is. It is huge in the fitness world. People spend a lot of money even on their used stuff. So I think that I can get um, between $50 to $70 for this one pair of pants. And probably, this is an older style, I'm going to show you guys something in a second. Probably about um, 20 to 30 for these ones. So, let's talk about Lululemon though. They have, um, this is their older style tag. So, this is how you can kind of tell if something's older or newer. So, this is an older tag. And it actually has their name and all their information and everything that the tag is, or the item is. So, that's great. The issue is a lot of people say, hey, I got Lulu, but somebody cut the tag out. They're rip out tags. They're not meant to stay in the clothing. It's easy to rip out and then there'll be this logo. You see that little logo on the back? This logo will be somewhere on the piece. So the trick is to find this logo. Now, how do I know what size I have? What is this? That's the next step. 
Pants are pretty easy because there's usually a little front pocket for your gym stuff or I don't, I don't go to the gym. I suppose people like your cell phone maybe. Whatever you put in this front pocket, there's always um, the size tag will be in there. So these are a size four and it's not small, medium, large, it's actual number sizes. So look for that. So this is the back of the pants. This is the front. These are actually reversible. And on the other side, it also has the Lulu Lamont logo. I'm gonna show it to you guys one more time because it's important that you know this logo. You will not find the tag inside of the pants. You will only see this logo. Memorize that logo. And a lot of the sweatshirts and stuff, it actually looks like that logo on the front. So memorize that logo, look for that logo, buy that logo. Seriously guys, this stuff sells and it will sell overnight. It is crazy how much people love this stuff. So you can kind of, so again, what I just taught you, we can learn the difference between older and newer by looking at the tags. The newer stuff is not gonna have the tags, it's just gonna have that logo embossed on it. And then the sizes are gonna be hidden somewhere in a pocket or you kind of have to search around. So don't give up, look for the, and then I'm gonna Google these. Um, and I'm gonna find the style name because that's also kind of important with their stuff. So Lulu sells great, you guys buy it. And that's it. So hopefully all this stuff I can get up in the next couple of days. I've been really, really busy with eBay and doing YouTube videos and I kind of been neglecting my store. I have not been listing as much as I should and I, my sales have dropped down to about 5,500 for the last 30 days, which is 500 below where I wanna be at or where I was last month. So I think I'm going to be really focusing on my store. So if I'm not around in the groups as much the next couple of days, it's because I need to make some money. And I need to be listing. I love helping you guys, but I also need to make sure that my time is focused in the right areas. So I'm going to be really, really focusing on listing and getting things up to the store and selling things the next few days. I will um, still do stated briefly in the mornings and I will probably not make another video until the end of next week, a longer one, because you guys, I just have to get stuff listed. It's been so crazy. You can, however, join me over on Facebook. I run a Facebook group called States Place eBay Sellers. Uh, you can look me up there. I'll post a link in the comments. And then the other thing that I am doing permanently now is I am joining the reseller stew, which is on Tuesday mornings. And it is a live show, which is super fun. I have so much fun with those ladies. Um, so you can check me out on that. And then you should expect another video at the end of the next week, you guys. Anyway, if you have any questions, find me on e or tired. Find me on Facebook at States Place eBay Sellers or add me as a friend, Nicole State. I will talk to you guys soon. I hope you're listing. If you're not listing, you're not selling. And if you're not selling, you're not making money. So get out there, you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.